In this video, we'll learn how to set up our DAW for the integration of the SX8. We are using Apple Logic, but this process should work in a similar way on most existing DAWs. Before we start with the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to get notified whenever there is a new video coming out. We have already opened Logic and created a new project. Now we are hitting the plus button to create a new software instrument. We select external instrument and hit create. As a MIDI destination, we select the Vivo SX8, go to MIDI channel 1 and select input channel 3334 of the aggregate device. This routing will divert all incoming MIDI messages, such as notes, sustain, expression, etc., to the SX8 on MIDI channel 1 and route the SX8's incoming main audio signal to input channels 33 and 34. Changing the MIDI channel of the external instrument plugin to channel 2 is going to divert all incoming MIDI messages to MIDI channel 2. And now we will address the third part of the SX8's sound generator by switching to MIDI channel 3 in the external instrument. Before moving on, we reset the external instrument to MIDI channel 1 and switch off the audio ins. As a next step, we'll create three instances of external instrument with the three different MIDI channels, no audio input, and one instance with no MIDI send but two audio inputs for the routing of the SX8's main outputs into your DAW. Arming the three different inputs will now address the three different parts of the SX-8. Arming all three instances will route the incoming MIDI events to all three parts of the SX-8 simultaneously. The returning audio from the SX-8 will go to the fourth instance. The SX-8 has four independent outputs, so let's duplicate the audio ins and select channel 7 and 8 as additional inputs for the SX-8's sub-out. In this setting, the two digital channels are connected via USB to input 3334 of my aggregate device. The two analog sub-outs are connected with two jack cables directly from my SX-8 to my audio interface. To activate the sub-outs on our SX-8, we press Menu, scroll to Outputs, change the output routing of Part 2 from Main to Sub and turn the sub-switch on. And now we can see that the audio of Part 1 and 3 are routed to channels 33 and 34 and the audio of Part 2 is routed to channel 7 and 8 of our studio input setting in Logic. Okay, this is one way of integrating the SX-8 into our studio. In the next video, we'll be listening to some really cool examples, adding high-end studio effect plugins, or virtually connecting the SX-8 tone wheel engine to a rotary speaker. Thank you for watching.